Welcome back guys, James here and here we are again on the Dream Machine. Um, I'm really sorry guys I haven't uploaded anything on this episode, on this series yet. I'm really really sorry but I'll take a break for a while with the Monokuma Theater and also well with the Project Satsud with the game development thing. So I'll be doing this for a while. Also plus, where we left off is that, um, on where we left off, um, we discovered a camera from from our bedroom, uh, I think it seems that Mr. Morton's the one who's behind it. I'm not really sure yet, not really sure, but we just assume that it, 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 it was Mr. Morton's doing. So let's see. This is a bit of scrap, point it straight to the bed. I feel like smash it, but the police won't like it if I destroy everything. Well, that's true. Oh, the music's a bit loud here. Okay, I'll really take some time right now. Since if I recall, I have to go downstairs. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't. Rem I never. For ah oh, crap. I can't believe it. They put me on hold. Ah, oh, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna do the normal voice now. This it's probably gonna take a while. I'll go down and hold him here until the police arrive. You do that, dear. I'm really sorry that I have been. I'm really sorry, guys, if I can't voice out Alicia very well. I'm not really good with female voices at all. So, let's just get to the point. Okay, yeah. I, mean, so, I wonder what's the, the last the last button do. Okay, look to the window, maybe... S oh, he's not there. This must be the key to Mr. Morton's office. My hand is too thick to reach it. I need something thin if I hope to reach it. Don't have any of that. The door is locked. I can hear him moving in there. I have to get in to make sure he doesn't tumble with everything sneaking to the camera. Okay. Uh, a wire code can do? Yep. Okay. Ah, the typical. Get the key. Examine e pad, examine the stuff. I think I already examined that before in the last episode. I'm really sorry, guys, if my memory is a bit too foggy. Okay. Oh, Mr. Morton? No, you're in here. We found your camera. I arrived upstairs calling the police. They'll be here any minute. Chapter 2. The little man who wasn't there. Okay. Got a paper. Oh, all my items are gone. Use telephone. No, not, 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 not right now. Turn down. Nah. Toolboard. Some of Mr. Morton's tools are hanging over the desk. Okay, toolbox. The box contains various of tools. The shelf. This binder says receipts and invoices. This binder. These are mostly binder with business related paperwork. The shelf contains books on repairs and maintenance. For some reason, I got that one. Gramophone. Probably one of the best things mankind ever invented. Turn the handle. Ah, uh, no, no, I don't want to mess with it. Okay, I can tell something's behind that door. This looks like a secret door. What about behind it? Well, duh, it could be Mr. Morton inside. That's strange. I can hear his voice, but, there, but there's no one here. He must be hiding somewhere. Examine the sleeper. Nah, I can see how this will come in handy. There's a chili drop running around along the floor. So I'm in the bed, watching his bed just like he was watching ours last night. Does this make us even? I don't think so. This doesn't seem to get much use. I'm an electric water boiler, all the comforts of a modern home. Beer bottle. I'm not familiar with this brand, but it looks like a lager. Lager, so. Lager, lager, I don't know. What? It's that noise. We jazzy. Some of these boots look like they're over a hundred years old. Okay. 
He seems to be reading lots of books about doing some sleep studies. Okay, at least I found it. Okay. Oh. Oh, I, oh no. Wait. I have to write this dream down last night. Oh. I have to write this dream down last. I forget. Wait, I have to write this dream down lest I forget it. The stars went out like candles one by one. An island appeared as the surrounding waves subsided. I was a heart beating inside a stranger's body. Suddenly, the moon fell from the sky. I dream of a barren landscape scorched by the sun. This night terror has got to stop. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. How about this blank paper? This piece of paper is blank. Oh god. His dream seems oddly repetitive. Okay, pick up the four. Oh, okay, I got second one. It will complete the series. Don't tell me I have to arrange this. Okay. No. The same words appear over and over, but in slightly different orders. What if that means something? There's a there's is it according by year or according by the symbols? Wait, I'll just let me check it. I think I forgot something to examine. Pick up the stamp, yeah. I have. Then do this. Right, let's stamp the paper. No! A stamp is barely visible, I can't make it what it says. Uh, uh, do you need a light? Oh, wait, wait, wait the, the lamp, the lamp. No, no, no. Use paper with. For the lamp. Wait, that, how that one? Now, can you see it? It doesn't reveal anything. Hmm. I already stopped this paper. What? Oh, this one. Pick up ink pad. Wait, do I have to do this? The lamp has no ink on it. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Makes sense. It says February 2nd, 1972. Okay, 1972. February. Is it again? Second. First. Second. What a strange dream, I was frightened by the fact that the sun was missing, my heart sang a beautiful song, then a moon-shaped package arrived. Waves fell gently on some faraway beach, the stars turned turn on me. I have to say, it feels better having written this down. Wait. Sun? Wait, wait. Let's see. Heart, wave, moon, star, sun. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sun came first. Heart. Okay, right, sun, heart, moon, waves, and stars. Sun, heart, moon, waves, and stars. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, okay sun, sun, heart, okay. Well, let's go with sun first. Star will be the last. Moon will be the middle. Wave will be here. And then heart. Well, that was easy. And we got Secret Passageway. Uh, oh, that's a bit omnibus. Where the heck am I? Ooh. Oh! Well, that really, that really frightens me. This requires a key. We have to stop. They just found the camera. The police are probably on their way right now. I want to see the window. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I know what you're trying to do, game. You're trying to jump scare me, huh? 
No, that's unacceptable. We can't have another Travis incident. That was hard enough to cover up as it was. These are people with friends and families. Somebody's bound to miss them eventually. He's bound to them. That didn't work. So I'm to Mr. Morton's pump paint. Okay, let's just get into it. Machine room. Oh. What the heck? Is that the dream machine? I should unplug you years ago. This ends now. Wait. What are you doing? No. Stop. Uh. Mr. Moore appears to be sleeping. Unable to, I'm unable to wake him up. What happened to him? Uh, the machine, I see. Some kind of machine. It looks intimidating. Okay, the blueprint. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I get it. Okay. Uh, we, let's see. Um, according to this blueprint, um, it says here go in and then here go out. Okay, I, I can understand that. Of this one. This movie shows him a grotesque machine. The two figures stand next to it, each wearing a somnatic device. I never mind that be important. Uh, oh, that it would be the ones. Oh. Okay, should I wear it? I can barely see out of this thing. What is that? And what is that smell? Okay. That's in subject of something. It's blurry, but I think I'm seeing. What was that? Oh, not sure I want to. Oh, that hurts. What's happening? Oh, that's me. Oh, dear. I can tell this game gonna have a lot of surprises along the way, and we're in the middle of nowhere. Where am I? What is this place? Mr. Morton, are you in here? I guess this must be. Well, this is my first. Well, my first dream. Wait, is that a blood stain? Looks like a bloody handprint. Uh, that's all you can say? Oh, yeah, I saw this from the, the screenshot of this game years ago. It's a large stone. It's a large stone statue of some kind. There's a side resemblance to Mr. Morton. Okay, let's go to the second portal first. And it's a different one. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, did you just say something? Okay, I can understand what you're trying to tell me. What is this place? I guess it must be broken somehow. I'm really sorry guys, um, it seems the audio has been cut, all thanks to my laptop here. Oh god, now I have to start all the way back to why. Great, I'm really sorry guys, I'm not in the right mood, all because that silly laptop decided to turn off on its own. Oh god, the audio will be misplaced a lot. Thank god I didn't even didn't use the, the face rig program. Okay. I'm not really in a good mood right now. I'm gonna wait back here. Okay. I'm really sorry guys, that really ruins my mood, to be honest. Hello? Who are you? My name is Victor Nepp, sir. Sorry, what's that? I said my, my, my name is Victor Nepp. I can't hear a word you're saying. I'm sorry. Okay, the ear. Rocks. Pick up rocks. 
I know. Oh, ha, for the love of... Pick up the rocks. That feels better. What did you do? I removed some rocks from your ear canal. Sorry, what's that? Your ear canal was slug. I can hardly hear you, but whatever you did seems to have made it better. Keep at it. Kale? Syrup? Oh, our own wait. Uh oh. Oh dear, I made it. Because we have an anvil, a hammer, and a stirrup. Does it ring any bell to you? Oh yeah, it's part of the ear. Oh no. We've got no time to done this. I want to smash them. What can I do with this thing? Oh. I can examine it. Okay, I don't know what it was that for. The glasses are using I'll get rid of them. What can I do with this? Um. Okay, let me see if there's something here. No, let's go to the second portal again. Got this statue with open hatch. Oh, go. Wait, something's been wherever this thing is in turn, right? Okay. Need to place the animal here. Oh, fine. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, I just hope. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm not really in a good mood right now. Okay, what the hell is there? Okay. Uh, get it. Get the handle as well, just in case we need it. Okay, stripping turtle. Who goes there? Why have you disturbed me in my sleep? My name is Victor Nett, sir. Who are you? I am a symbol, a tribute, and a memory. All at once? Yes. I don't know where I am. You're standing right in front of me. That is where you are. But what is this place? It's a shrine. To what? To me. Uh... Is this place real? Are you real? Am I? What separates a real place from an unreal? That it seems real to your senses. That it feels when you tread its grounds. In that case, this place is very real. You're not being very helpful, I'm sorry. Neither are you. Oh, that was his vocal cords. Actually, a picture vocal, whatever those teens do. Yes, yes, I guess you did. So, so what? You owe me some answers. What would you like to know? Who are you, really? My name was Ains Ainsley Morton. Oh, you you're one of the Mortons? Was? Yes, I died quite a while ago, I'm afraid. Oh, a relative of the Mortons. What you see in front of you isn't actually me. Then what is it? It's a monument. Have you seen a shifty looking the older guy walk past here? You know, who is a bit... I don't... Uh, I mean, can can handle it right now my commentary. I'm asleep mostly. I don't see much of anything. What are you, who are you looking for? A guy called Fates Morton. Um, he's about... Uh, he's wearing a, a, a jacket or something. You, you can't miss him. He's also wearing a white pole. And he's not a rock, just like all of you. A guy called Fates Morton. I have a reason to believe he's in here somewhere. Felix! What has he done now, that useless brat? Oh. You don't know him? Of course I do. He's my grandson. Oh. I wish he wasn't, but a rotten egg is better than a no egg at all. You don't like your own grandson? No, he lacks conviction. He'll be the end of it all. It's his father's fault, really. Too soft on him, you see? Wait, you're the grandfather? Me? I tried to cane him any chance I got. Oh, that's... I don't know, I don't like that kind of punishment. Try to... 
to peacefully abuse your grandson. It builds character. Try to beat some sense into the boy, but his father was too soft, I tell you. Too damn soft. Ooh. Have you seen your grandson this year? I mostly slipped these days, but if he walked past there, he had a common courtesy not to wake me up and let some people. Also, he doesn't talk to me much anymore. What do you know about him? He was a useless mongrel then. He's probably just as useless now. Whenever your beef is with young Phillips, I suggest you let it rest. Trying to get sensible answers out of that boy is trying to milk a stone. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Even though it's fine, even though I get your ana your analogy, he doesn't owe you money, does he? No, it's not about money. Then you can count your lucky bets about one thing at least. Now, if you excuse me, my eternal sleep is well deserved and long overdue. No, wait. If Phyllis is here, how can I find him? The correct order will lead you there. Order of what? That's all you get from me. Good luck, Mister Neff. Well, thanks for nothing. So this spoils ah, all this kind of confusing. Is there anything here to fix the third one? Oh dear! Can I summon you again? Yeah, we did. Is there anything here? Let's go to third one. Hmm. What can I do? Okay, let me try with the items that I have right now. I get I get the puzzle here. Eh? Because I haven't because it's part it's part of the ear. Which came first? Um oh my god, it's been a long time I haven't studied ear nano in ear tato, ear anatomy anatomy. Was it the hammer first? No was it the anvil first? Wait. Hold on. Anvil Hammer Steer up. I think that's all the store back. Okay, how about Steer up. Hammer. Uh, oh god. Oh god, I want to search it night now. We only have three items. Steer up. And bill. Hammer. Oh yes! <laughs> hey, you can hear again. Thank you, wherever you are. Okay, I can't touch you enough, young man. What's your name? My name is Victor Nutt, sir. But where is this place? The subconscious realm of dreams. My son's dreams to be received. Your son? Yes, Felix Martin. Have you met him? Yes, I'm trying to find him, but this place is a bit of a maze. I wish I could help you with that, but this place ships a lot. To create a maze inside one subconscious requires quite a lot of willpower. If Felix is in here, hiding from you, I don't think you're going to be able to find him. Oh yeah, I can tell because we only have three places to go. I don't think he's high. I think he was attacked somehow. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the blood. In that case, I wish you best of luck. Wait, how do I find Felix? He's the last in the line of Mortons. Get to him last. Good luck, Neff. Wait, I haven't talked. Wait, that all? It all? You're? Oh come on! I can't thank you enough, young man. Oh, oh no! It repeats the dialogue. Oh no! 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 Oh yeah, it's the same thing. I have. I better check that sometime. No. What can I do with you? That's one thing I need to know. There we go. I thought it was here. Had a hatch for like the other ones. Uh, do I have anything here? There's a chalk line drawing on the back wall. It really resembles an eye. Okay, do I have to put the rocks here? Or I have to remove this one. Just like a bunch of rocks. Who goes there? My name's Peter Neff, sir. And why have you disturbed me in my sleep, Victor Neff? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm trying to find someone, but I don't know where I am. What is this place? 
To tell you what, if you do me a favor, I'll give the answers you see. What do you want me to do? I can barely see you down there, Victor. My eyes aren't what they used to be. If you help me to see this, if you help me to see sharply again, I'll answer your questions. Deal. Deal. I'll be here if you need me. Oh, I just realized. Um. What was that? What is it called again? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, or was it the other way around? Yeah, I, I can tell. It's speak, speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. Ah. Well, that's a clever, that's a clever puzzle, because I solved the first guy's riddle, no, I solved the first statue, then the second one, which is, had a problem with the, with the hearing, had a hearing problem, and now I'm using the sight. Wait, oh, this is what these are for. I think that's the first one, that's better, but I can still, can't see you clearly, I mean, one eye can. There we go. But that's what you look like, Victor. Is that what passes for the hairstyle these days? I guess so. Things have certainly changed since my day. But thank you for helping me see. So we're in a realm where ideas came from. Yes, among other things, everyone, every person has their own allotted piece of this place. But this space overlap and every piece is part of a greater whole. It's shared unconscious. Now tell me, what do you require of me? I'm trying to find a man named Felix Mort. Felix, I never heard of him. He must be before my time. Or after. Wait. Before my time. Oh no. I wish there was more I could do for you. I shall manage somehow. Good luck. Oh, that's all. Uh, wait, wait, wait. If I change the question. What can I do you, Mr. Nev? Oh, thank you. Something walked past here recently. Not, not that I've noticed, but as you know, my eyes aren't too sharp these days. My landlord Pittsburgh spied on me and my wife while we slept. I'm trying to find him. Phillips, I never heard of him. Sounds more like a matter for the police to handle. My wife is calling them at the moment. I'm sure they can help you out better than I can. I wish there was more I could do for you. We shall manage somehow. Okay. So, get to him last, if I recall. What does he mean by that? Get to him last. What? Get to him last. Oh. Okay, I, I didn't know you meant last, as in last portal. Okay. You can't trade me with that anymore. What the heck? I know what I've done. I'm prepared to accept the consequences, but not before I shut you down. I'll cut you out of every dream if I have to. Oh dear. Pick up the axe, pick up the axe. Oh, everything. Oh, the frame rate. Some tentacle. Little mouth at the end of the tentacle. It's lying with a hooked teeth. Oh. Hello then, Mr. Neff. I guess you're wondering where you are. What is this place? You're standing in a dream sleep, Mr. Neff. The living breathing amalgamation of billions of sleeping minds. Each adding their own distinct piece to the puzzle. All connected belong to the same world. I'm inside a dream. You're in my dream, as a matter of fact. It doesn't always look like this. It changes slightly each night. But this is where I come when I dream. How do I get here? Each sleeping mind is an empty way to a different part of the dreamscape. By using the helmets, you projected your conscious into my sleeping mind. That's how you ended up here. Okay, about the big dream machine. It synchronized the brainwaves of two kinetic minds, making it possible to project an awake mind into a sleeping one, as you're doing right now. Did you build it? Only parts of it. My family has been trying to chart the dreamscape for the past four generations. My great-grandfather first posit posited the idea that we all visit a collective conscious in our sleep. He wanted to explore to see if it had a coherent geography. Does it? Yes, but it's ever-changing, ever-evolving. As people die, we lose parts of it. As new people are born, new areas appear. It's a roughly this shape. As you're born, you appear in the center, moving outward as you age. 
eventually reaching the teen crumbling edge as your life comes to an end. Oh no, are you gonna die? Ah, uh, this music though. How does a machine like that work? To be honest, I don't fully really understand it myself. My grand grandfather built the first prototype. It was screwed, barely providing a keyhole pick into the sleeping mind. My, great my grandfather improved the design by synchronizing the brain weight of the connecting mind. My father and I both added the parts here and there, mainly increasing performance and stability. So your father has been building this thing for four generations? I was raised from an early age to continue my father's work. My father instructed me how to operate the machine. Occasionally, he brought me along with him into the dream school. Can you imagine what it was like for a child? Oh, having people dreams to play in. So that's the place I want to be in. That's really, that is really my favorite place. Who were you talking before? I was talking to the machine. Even it has organic parts and has, after decades of refinements, which some degree of awareness. I learned to communicate with it after all these years. A talking machine. It's not really talking. It's one of whisper in the back of your mind. What attacked you in the basement? It was the machine. Recently, we had a different, differing opinions on how to proceed. A situation that accumulated once you discovered my camera, Mr. Neff. Uh huh. Yeah. Sorry about that. What's the argument about? Lately, our operation has been getting harder and harder to keep under wraps. I wanted to put it on hold while I sorted things out, but the machine won't let me. I was trying to shut it down, but it attacked me. Awareness and self preservation go in hand, unfortunately. I wish I could have spent all this, all this at Peter Lem, but I'm fading. Oh, you're. No. But we just met you. I'm afraid I won't be with you much longer. Dreams can't hurt you, can they? Dreams can alter your perception of reality. They can change your life. But they certainly can't hurt you. People die in their sleep all the time. Oh yeah, I learned that the hard way in. Why could they get game again? Um It's a game I forget your I remember the game before. I think it's one of the creators of of Persona. I think Atlas created that game before. Um it's like your it's like a man in, in his dream, and he can't wake up, many people die, and there's full of ships everywhere. What was the name again? Oh, I forgot about that name. Oh. What? It Clem? No, 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 no. Oh, never mind. You can tell me, guys, in, in the comment down below. In the comments down below. I forgot about that game, but that game is really, it really reminds me of that. What's that title thing that grabs you right now? The tentacles are the roots of the machine, and it's teaching of it, if you will. The machine resides in both dreams and reality at once. The thing you saw in the basement is but half of it. The roots reside there and draw power from the dreamscape. I thought dreams were all about wish fulfillment, not a natural place. I'm not alone in thinking that. Food, for instance, was the originator of that particular idea. But as you can see around here, you're both quite wrong. I'm feeling weak. But before I leave you, there's something I had to ask. If I could do it, if, if, if I could do it myself, I would, but I don't have long. I need you to shut the machine down once and for all. How do I do that? By cutting off its power supply. The tunnel you saw was one of its roots. That's how it drains power from the dreamscape. I've already chopped it off. There's more. But now, the tunnels have spread to the others in the estate. You must enter their dreams just like you entered mine. And make sure you can't draw power anymore. Why can't I just smash the machine itself? The machine is more than just a clunk within a basement. It would be, be like getting rid of a tick without removing the head. Wait, wait. It would be like getting rid of a tick without removing the head. Oh. Once all dreams are purged, the machine will shut down properly. You grant me this, my dying wish. I won't do it, but only the, the same. Your wife has been fed as well since I visited her dream last night. You must purge your dream also if this is all to work. Then I'll do my best. I'm the last in the line of the Mortons. With me, my, my family perishes. Oh. What are you going to tell the world about us once we're gone? That you are scientists and spores of the mind. Thank you, Mr. Moore. I'll rest easy on you. This is where I must leave you, my friend. I wish I had more time to set this straight. 
but you don't get to choose these things. I'm afraid not. Goodbye, Mr. Mayor. Goodbye, Mr. Morton. Oh, no. Poor Mr. Morton. And he's dead. I can I remove this one? Oh, I can still keep it. Okay. Oh, I'm really sorry, dude. Mr. Morton has passed away. He died trying to shut down the machine now. Mr. Morton's time wish has to shut this thing down. Apparently it's really large and the of the estate. We wanted to cut them off. Is there anything? A control panel? Huh. I think it indicates how many tunes and the machine is draining power from. Even just five tentacles supplying the power to the machine. How is this even possible? Oh dear. Okay, how can I get out of here? The door is still locked. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea. Well guys, I think that's it for a while. I'm really sorry that I had to stop here at this very sad moment. I'm really sorry about that guys. But anyway, I'll, to, I'll try to continue this. I'll, I promise I'll try to continue this, I promise. If you guys want to see more of this, leave, leave down in the comments down below. I'll, I'll try my best in getting the next episode ready. Ooh, that really hit hard with Mr. Morton there. Ooh, that really hit hard. That's, oh, that's really sad though. He's like... The last of the Mortons, and he died. And well, that's the end of the Mortons. Oh, that's really sad to be honest. We haven't got to talk to him for like a really good chat about him. I mean, we get to see his background with his family, but not a lot about him, so, about himself. Well, I think I can, I think I can get the background with all thanks to his, you know, relatives, especially his child abuse. I think that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Good morning, Kade. Morning, fuckface. Oh, so how far have you gone with Suichi? <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? God, we really are like driving home for sex, like. And nobody in this group like gives a shit. They're just like, yeah. I fucked each other, fucked you hot at dumpster! I don't remember the other previous games being this goddamn raunchy. People dropping me f bombs like every two seconds. I mean, I know a majority of that's fucking me is doing, but... Huh. Are you saying I'm right over... I have no idea where am I right now.